These are checkmates, but they're pretty hard. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now here, the white king can't move to a2, b2, or c2 because kings can't be side by side. So in order for black to win, black would have to move the queen here to a2. That way, um, the king hasn't been captured, but no matter what square the white king goes to, it will be captured and the game is over. That's right. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Here, the white queen cannot move to h2 or g2 because kings are not allowed to be side by side. So you need to put the king in check, and that's very important because the first part of checkmate is check. And the way you put the king in check is with the rook. So the king is in check here from the rook, and the king can't move to any other squares. Correct. White to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. So again, you want to put the king in check, and um, also the king cannot move to any other square. So here, the king cannot move to any of these three squares because kings can't be next to each other. The king can't, also can't move to these three squares because they are being protected by this rook. And since you have to put the king in check, you'll have to use the other rook to put the king in check, and now the king can't move to any other square without being captured. That's right. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now here, black can't move to any of these three squares because they are being protected by the rook. The king can also not move to this square or this square because the knight protects those two squares. So, the move for black has to be a bishop move, and it has to be a check. And the way you can move the bishop to check the king is here on f5. That's correct. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Okay, now this one is going to be a little bit more difficult. It's a black move. White is not in check. Um, this square here is being protected by the king, and this square here along... In fact, all three of these are, so the king can't move here, so you'll need to find the, a way to put the king in check. And it looks like there's actually, actually there's not two ways. Because if you were to put the bishop here, then the white knight would capture. So black would have to put the bishop here, attacking the king and creating a checkmate. You got it right. White to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. The king can't move to any of these three squares because the rook is protecting those squares. So white takes the other rook, puts the king in check, and checkmate. Correct. White to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. So the king is not in check. Uh, the king cannot go to the f square because it is being protected by the rook. The king also can't go to take the bishop because the pawn is protecting it. And the king also cannot take the pawn at g2 because the bishop is protecting it. So the move then needs to be the bishop. And the way that it does it is right here on c7. That's right. So the king has no square that it can move to without being captured on the next move. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now the white king cannot move to either of these two squares because kings can't be side by side. The king also can't move because there's a bishop in the way. So the move is bishop to d5. That's correct. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now um, the king can't move to any of these three squares because the queen is protecting it. So it's going to be a pawn move, and on these exercises, black moves down the board. So move the pawn down one. You got it right. And the king is in checkmate. Black to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now the king um, has two squares that it can move to, but if you can put the king in check, it can't move to either of those squares because it'll be captured on the next move. And this is rook down to h1. 
Correct. And this is a very common checkmate from a lot of chess players. Chess players will castle, but they won't leave an opening for the king to escape. And you'll see many games won by putting a rook at the very bottom or the very top of the board and blocking in the king that has been castled. White to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now here, black is um, kind of stuck. And... Let me see. Oh, I can see it. There's one place that you can move and one piece that you can move to keep the king there and to keep it from moving, and it's a pawn move. Pawn captures pawn. That's right. The king is in check, and the king can't capture the pawn because the knight is backing it up. White to move. Play the move which gives checkmate. Now, the king can't move to either of these squares here because the pawn is protecting those two. So just take the rook, move it up to the top of the board, Correct. and it's checkmate. Hope these help.